Yo, 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 it's Timmy Lee Glean. I'm coming here with another video. Just, just wanted to speak on something real quick. And it's something that been ringing in my ears like all day. And I hope it's a principle that you already been moving in. But it's, it's been something that's been ringing in my ear today. And not just, just an action, because this is something I feel like I've been doing for the last couple months, but I mean, just, it's been ringing in my ears to talk about it just before the new year started, just so you can get on a better trajectory. Now me, Monday is not the new year. Now, if we look at nature and how it truly works, and if we look at the actual calendar um, and see where the true new year is, is more so in the March, April-ish, like the spring season, Think about when all of creation was created. You know, that's when the animals first came out, came about. That's when the grass grew, the trees grew, and everything grew, and the flowers and everything. Like, life starts in the springtime. You know, right? um, the winter is like, kind of like the, this is the end of the year. So this is still the fourth quarter of the year. The new year starts in March, in the month of Abib. Until we are at that place, Monday is not the real new year. But even if we have the concept of a new year, right? Not the true new year, but the the the, the Western civilized Eurocentric calendar that we have as of now, um, with this pagan days and things like that. But I don't, I'm not going to get deep into that because that's this is the whole another thing in itself, and I'm not here to just throw what you know. I, I think you know. I live by this calendar as well, but I don't live by these seasons. But the Most High Yah, He works in seasons, and in certain seasons, He wants you to do different things. And sometimes we kind of like get so lackadaisical that we move into the next season doing the same stuff as the last season. And the Most High is calling you to move different. Okay, Timmy, that ain't biblical, you know? <laughs> you know, like, when you see a lot of like prosperity preachers and a lot of people like, I don't want to name names because that ain't what I'm about and what I'm doing because I believe people are blessed by even those prosperity preachers. And, you know, I never want to step on the toes of another believer unless it's something that's false and heretical. But besides that, you no, know, the principle of moving different is very biblical. It's a biblical principle. Right. If you're growing in this walk with the most high, you're not going to be doing the same stuff that you were doing before. You're not going to be going to the same old places that you were going before. You're not going to have the same old friends. You're not going to have the same old people in your life. I'm, I'm just thinking about the people that I used to party with 10 years ago. I'm about to be 33 years old. It was points in time when I was 20, 21, 22. I was going out and partying. I don't hang out with none of them. Not to say like, you know, I have people that I knew from them days, people that I party with, people that I shared the stage and perform with, and I love y'all, and I still love y'all, and no matter what I believe in, the love is genuine on your side and my side, and I believe that is a lot of y'all. I believe a lot of y'all that's still on my page is still on my page because you've been real with me, you're very loving and caring, and, and you've been very kind to me. There's a lot of people on here that's been kind to me. Growing up in my growing years, there's been a lot of people that's been wicked with me, but there's a lot of kind people that I believe that I've encountered. And, um, you know, may Yah bless you and may you truly, you know, get to know our Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, our Adonai, um, and get to walk with him, you know, but regardless, I'm not here to force my religion on you or force anything on you, but I'm here to bring a principle that anybody, and I mean anybody, rather it's you, rather it's you, rather it's you, you know, rather you believe in this, rather you believe in that. I know what I believe in, but I want to just bring a principle to you to move different in this season. This is a new season you know we've been in this new season for about a week now a little bit over a week um what's considered the winter season and the new year does not start in the winter season so what you want to have going into the true new year meaning when the springtime comes and you're able to go out and you're able to really make the moves that you want to make you got to plant seeds in this time right now but it, it, it starts with here you got to move different but you got to see it first in here and then you got to act upon it 
There's some people you might not be able to hang out with anymore. There's some habits that you might have to let loose and let go so you can be more productive in what you are meant to do because everybody is gift wrapped with a purpose that the Most High has for them. And in order for you to fulfill purpose, you have to be around those that are meant to be around you. You have to be in the spaces that you are meant to be in. You have to be in the place that the Most High wants you to be in, in that season. And sometimes we we will be in a place for a long time and it could be a mental space. It can be a physical place. It can be a relationship. It can be a friendship. And you're holding on to this thing way too long, knowing that you are not growing, but you're still holding on to it. And I feel like that's fruit to just some things you just got to let go. Some things you got to leave behind. Some things you got to just push to the wayside. Some things you just got to put in the hands of the most high. And if it's meant for you, it'll be back around. Rather relationships and opportunities and things like that. But you have to do what you need to do in this season. And that is to move different. And I know I'm talking to somebody right now. I hope that I'm talking to somebody right now. You got to move different. I'm looking at my, I see myself in this in this selfie mirror. I'm talking to me too, because this, 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 this is more so for me. You just getting a you just getting a, a a whim of me talking to myself basically, but you need to move different. I hope that bless somebody. I hope somebody can can take that in. And once again, like it gets to a certain point, just like even as a believer, you know what kind of people are you hanging out with? Are you hanging out with people that's gonna sharpen you? Are you hanging out with people that's gonna? Help lift your hands and, and, and help strengthen you. Edify you. What type of stuff do you watch online? Do you watch things online that's, that's a detriment to your mentality? Are you watching things that are dirty and that are filthy and that are giving you an unclean mind, unclean thoughts and unclean heart towards other people? Rather it be sexual content or rather it be just murderous content. You know, in Buffalo and, and a lot of the, the Griselda music that we have, and I'm not trying to no shot at anybody, but there's a lot of murder. There's a lot of drug dealing and drug abuse and drug use and, and, and abuse and all that stuff that's being put out through through music in general. You know, and, and we have a group of people that's become famous, you know, in this city. And now everybody wants to follow that. Everybody wants to follow, you know, just the... Uh, you know, violence, you know, everybody wants to murder, you know, and I, I, I think we should, I, I think it's a time that people that are in the light to stand up, it's time to move different. I'm somebody in this city right now that's in the light, that's not afraid of anybody. I'm not afraid. I saw some stuff with a Christian rapper named D1, and he said some stuff about like, Jim Jones and Rick Ross and them, you think these guys are pushing 40, still rapping about the same stuff. So he's saying, hey, man, why not rap about some positive stuff? Why not speak about some positive stuff? Rick Ross wanted to come at the dude and he, and he, and he, and he talked about turkeys. And it's like, I realized I got to move different and, and, and I got to really operate at a higher level in everything that I'm doing. Because there's generations that are after us, that are watching us. And we look at the influences, the main influences in this city right now in Buffalo, the main influences on culture. They are promoting murder. They're promoting sex. They're promoting lawlessness. They're promoting and, and, and they're promoting things in, 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 a, in, a, in a wicked way. Once again, I'm not here to judge anybody, but I'm just saying somebody has to stand up. I got to move different. I got to be different. If I'm a child of the most high, if I'm sitting here saying, hey, man, we the Israelites, according to the Bible, and I'm looking at my people suffer from the culture that's been given to us, who is going to go against the grain? I got to move different. So this is a word for you. This is a word for me, too. <laughs> it's more of a word for me than you. I got to move different. Because what am I doing hiding my light under a, a, under a bushel, as it says in scripture, as it says in the gospels. If I'm to be a light to this earth, I'm to be that city that is on the hill that cannot be hidden. The city on the hill that everybody can see. I am to be that. And the light in me is Christ in me. And I got to be that out there everywhere I'm at. I got to operate in the love of Christ. I got to operate in the love of the most high. Yahuwah is love. God is love, as they say. And I have to be a representative of that love through Christ. So I am an ambassador of Christ. 
And if I'm an ambassador of Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, if I'm an ambassador for his will, for his glory, to give glory to the Father, then I am to be a light. I am to walk this earth in boldness and be a light. I got to move different. And I feel like I've been tiptoeing over a lot of stuff over the last couple years of finally getting out in my faith where honestly I felt a bit uncomfortable with speaking about my faith in certain spaces in certain places because I believe that if people really figured out that I am somebody that literally believes in the Bible and literally believes that we should be guarding his ways according to scripture according to his law statutes and commandments led by the Ruach HaKadosh the Holy Spirit so I'm somebody that believe in holiness I do that doesn't mean I ain't mess up, that I ain't slipped, that I ain't stumbled, but I believe in holiness. And when you believe in holiness, according to scripture, to the lukewarm Christian culture that has befriended the world, that has tied themselves to the world and the culture of this world, and we in the black community are so fixated with culture, even in the church, that we ourselves as a whole, as a people, will compromise the word for the sake of culture. Now, because we believe in holiness, that doesn't mean that we're these holier than thou, better than people. But no, we are of a new government. We are, we, we, we're not of this world. We're not to be of this world. Christ, the words that Jesus said that most people will overlook. He says that the world will hate you for my sake because they hated me first. That's in the Bible. If you, have, if you are friends with the world, you are in contention and enmity with the Most High. If you are friends with the world. And that doesn't mean you can't be friendly with people. And you can be loving with people. You got to think of, I just li we live in America right now. You see people that come from other countries here. And you see that they still keep up with their customs, their beliefs, their religion, their traditions, the way they dress. The, the, and of course, if you're like a... a second third generation american being raised up of course you're going to be affected you know because that's the way that things work when you're in another place and a lot of these parents and grandparents might be upset at their children because they have succumbed to the culture to the things around them but even those are physical traditions and customs no we are of a spiritual kingdom and if we are of a spiritual kingdom we got to move different than even people in the world. We got to move different. Not for the sake of trying to win souls to get on a level. to Because they say, Christ, man, Christ, he did eat with the sinners. But that doesn't mean that he was partaking in their sins. You think if Christ was walking this earth today, like in physical form, walking this earth today, and he was in the hood, you think he would be rolling dice? You think he'll be doing drive-by shooting people? You think he'll be selling crack and weed? You think he'll be doing that? No. He would not partake. He gonna tell you about the kingdom. He gonna tell you about the most high. He gonna tell you that there's a penalty for sin. So I know even myself. <laughs> I got to move different. 2024, we moving different. This ain't no new year, new me. No, you be yourself. Just change. And you can, and it can happen. And I mean at a snap of a finger, you can change your ways right now. By the grace of the Most High, He can work in you right now and supernaturally change your mind about the things that are a detriment. Who are your friends? Are they good for you? Are they good to be in your life? Do they uplift you? Do they help you? Or are they using you? Are they leeches? Are they vampires? Are they bringing you down? Are they negative? What type of content do you take in? Are you taking in godly content? Or even, are you taking in content to help you learn your... What, whatever you're doing, whatever practices that you're in, are, are, or what are you spending your time doing? Do you have a passion? What are you doing towards that passion? Finances, like what, what are you learning more about finances, about taxes, about businesses, or about stock, or about something? And I'm not trying to give you some sort of advice or anything. I'm just asking you because I know you have something right now. You even have something that you're gifted in. How much are you 
practicing that? How much are you studying in that in that field or whatever you're doing? How are you improving to get better? If you're working at a job, what are you doing to move yourself up? Or are you just kind of just okay? And, 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 oh, thing knocked over. I want to say this as well. If you are content with your life, meaning if you work a, a steady job, a, a steady income, you know, and this is kind of where you are and, and you're cool with that and content with that. And I believe we, first and foremost, I believe we all should be content at where we are. And meaning, it says godliness with contentment is great gain. You're content and where you're at but you strive not that we strive for more but that we strive more towards purpose and i believe the more deeper you get into purpose i believe the more that can come but for some people they are cool where they are in life you are blessed first and foremost if you are at a place right now where you straight for the next 20 30 years and and this is where you are and this is how much you make and you know your life is pretty much like you know and 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 this is everybody isn't meant to live an extravagant life and i feel like that's the problem as well that you got too many regular people chasing extravagant extravaganza this is why we, we chase so many material things and try to look like or sound like and act like people that we see on TV and entertainment. And, and, and you lose more and more of yourself. And then I've seen people that are themselves, that are cool with the life that they have and where they at. And actually, they are some of the more happier people in life because they, you know, that's the mindset that we have to have. Like, man, I have everything I need. Now, what's extra and whatever comes, you know, that comes. And I believe in the principle, it's in scripture. It says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added. Now, this was on a sermon that Yahushua Jesus, he was preaching and basically stating that, you know, if the most high feeds the birds of the air and, and, and the squirrels and all the animals, like if all that stuff is fed, if the grass is still growing and, 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 it's, and it looks beautiful, like basically he said, even Solomon was not clothed like these, you know. So if if Yah is taking care of nature, taking care of the animals that don't even have a conscience like us humans, how much more? He says, if 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 the wicked give their children good gifts, how much more will your heavenly Father give you? I don't know about y'all. I ain't trying to be blessed in the, in, in the world. I could have had it, man. I could have had it. I could have I could have been with a record label right now. I could have been signed. A couple labels. I could have been signed. And I probably could have been a, a big superstar out here. Big movie star. Music entertainer. I could have been all that. But the most high didn't want me to use my gifts for the world. That's why he planted that unction in me before he knew me. I mean, before I knew him. He knew me before I was born. But before I knew the most high. I was unctioned to not sign a record label contract that I could have signed. It's a big major label and I could have signed with them and I could have been amongst big names. And since I've studied the music business already, and I'm gonna give a quick testimony because I studied the music business already, I already know that I would have been fronted a couple million basically to work on the music. So I would have used all of that money for the studio, for the music, for the features that I wanted, and I would have saved the rest because I know that that had been the money that I had to pay back to the label. I'd have made that money back for the label, got paid what I was gonna get paid, and I was gonna start getting the properties and getting the real estate. Like I, I, already, I saw, I saw the whole thing already. So, so as a rap artist, I'd have been in the real estate, and I'd have been creating some of the craziest music ever. I tried to imagine myself in the, in the studio with Kanye West at the time, in the studio with Timbaland, in the studio with Pharrell, in the studio with, with Metro Boomin, in the studio with uh, Clamps Casino I was rocking with a lot, in the studio with, with a lot of different producers and even, you know, my brother's, um, you know, um, college boy and screen maker at the time, 90 Degrees now, and I, and I think of, man... All that I could have done, man, I, creatively and the films that I probably could have acted in and, you know, 
I've seen a whole lot of, of Grammys, Emmys, Oscars. I've, I've seen it all. And I believe that I've seen that vision because that was something that could have really happened. But the Most High had a different plan for me. I had a lot of tough years and, and, and it was tough. You know, my life turned around, you know, almost five years ago when, you know, brother of mine, he said, hey, you're the Israel, hey, we're the Israelites, man. You know, read the Bible, that's our book. And you start to open the Bible and immediately I had faith. I had faith from the moment I read the first chapter in the Bible, Genesis, and it says, what does it say? It says in the beginning, in the beginning he said, let there be light. In the moment, all the universe stuff that I believed in and I walked away from, and I'm gonna tell this testimony as well, but all that stuff that I believed in, I washed away and I, and I, and I remember just like, wow, this is the explanation for the Big Bang Theory. It was never a theory. It was a phenomena that happened, but it happened from a force beyond and outside of space and time, outside of our realm. So only a God, and I don't mean a God as far as like a, a person that has got himself up to this high status, but I mean, there's a creator of everything. The universe that we worshiped, that was created. This planet that we live on was created us as humans were created and designed in a specific way that we have been designed you think this is by accident or by just some random organisms coming together but that but so so this in my mind is going on and i'm just like wow and i knew i knew immediately when, when i started reading that bible i said man like it's just the spirit that came upon me i knew i knew immediately man i gotta be i gotta go celibate i gotta be celibate i, I can't I gotta wait until marriage. Yeah, I slipped up one time, <laughs> a month after, but since then, man, I'm almost going on five years of celibacy, man. But over the years, there was more things like, man, I gotta stop smoking. Man, I, I gotta stop watching pornography. I gotta stop doing this stuff. Man, my mind, then I, then I got freed from that stuff. Black Kamals, everything, I'm free from all this stuff. And that was, it's anxiety. Like, man, I gotta get free from anxiety. I gotta get free from depression. I gotta get free from demonic oppression over my mind and over my life. I got to get free from certain dentists like my children. Now I got to deal with stuff with them. I got to, man, I need to start praying. I need to start getting into the word. I need to start walking up right. I need to, you know, and, and the deeper that you get, the more that you start reading about Christ, the more that and, and the Holy Spirit starts to hit you, man, and you moving in that Holy Spirit, you're going to start to move different. I would tell anybody, man, you want to choose Christ. I tell all y'all, choose Christ, man. You don't, you don't think this kind of inner transformation just happens out of nowhere? No, I believe people, we have, we if you, if you have enough resolve, and I believe that's of Yah's sovereignty. If you have enough resolve to want to do something, I believe Yah will grant you the grace to do it. It just seems like when you're aware of him and, and believe in him, it seems harder. Like it seems, it seems harder to quit smoking. You know, I guess for some people, when you know the most high and you smoking but i i would rather go to the most high in my mess and have him do it instead of do it then have to walk with him no you got to move different now it starts now you can walk with the most high and be in your sin of course he ain't gonna want you to stay in your sin no but so, the, the the issue that people have is we want to hold on to our sins so long that's why we're not ready to walk with the most high because we know when we start walking with the most high we're gonna have to give it up that don't mean like see and that'd be the issue you don't have to give up your sin and then walk with the most high start walking with the most high and he will deliver you from that sin from those sins We've already been forgiven through the atoning sacrifice of his son Yahushua HaMashiach Jesus Christ He died for us so that we may be saved he was the sacrifice for us and for our sins that if we are washed in that blood 
If we receive the Holy Spirit and we turn away from those ways, if we repent for our sins, turn away from our sins and walk in the newness of life, renewing our minds, renewing our hearts and, and doing things differently. Let me tell you, man, there's a blessing and an anointing that comes with just saying, I accept you into my heart, Jesus, just to do that. Where we going 2024 and beyond, you have no idea the calamity that is going to come on this country and on this world. This is the time to start walking with the most high. Move different. I'm telling you, this is going to be a time. People, negative people, man. Neg negative people. I'm I'm the wrong person because I'm, I'm cut off king. So negative, man, cut them off. Stay negative. I don't mean you cut everybody off, you know. <laughs> There's some people that radically will cut everybody off and everything off. No, don't you know radically cut everybody off. Cut off what's negative. But ultimately move different. You'll be blessed. And this is my message to you going into the New Year's. However you receive that, I thank you for listening to this full video. You know, just my testimony in this and you know, just being straightforward, clear, and honest, you know, as I as I love to be. You know, I just, you know, so. But hey, may the Most High bless you, and may you have a happy new year. <laughs> and, you know, for those that know the true new year, I pray that you truly build in this season to prepare yourself for the real new year. Because once the snow start melting and it start getting warm outside, the Most High has commissioned us to go forth into the highways into the byways and it don't matter if it's the winter or the summer or the spring or the fall but i believe when when the snow starts to melt that's when people start to go outside more and that'll be a time for souls to really be moving around and this year is definitely going to be a year to just plant seeds right we we can't be the most high and in christ and the holy spirit all in one so trust and believe that the most high highest grace will be with you and i believe in that so thank you for listening to this full message. If you listen to it, um, if you listen to it all the way to the end, man, may y'all bless you. May y'all bless you truly. In Yahushua's name, in Jesus' name. Woo -hoo.